Currently, I have 62 games in my Steam library. However, I've actually played more like 30 of them. Now, this is partially due to me buying things like the Valve Pack and getting gifted random games from my friends. It, it, it was a gift, I swear. Or r slash free games on Steam. But there are still plenty of good games that I've yet to play because, like everyone, I'm guilty of buying too many games on Steam sales. And there's still a lot of games I need to get to. So in this video, I'm going to make a few comments about how I feel about every gameplay on this list, as well as a few excuses to why I haven't yet played some of the classics that I bought. Age of Empires 2. Don't you hate it when you can't play your childhood favorites because certain companies, <coughs> Nintendo, are anti-emulation and won't make decent ports? Well, I don't have that problem because Age of Empires 2 is a timeless classic and one of the first games I ever remember playing. Among Us, I paid $5 so I don't have to use a touchscreen when my friends lie to me. Ark Survival Evolved. It's rust with dinosaurs, but there's a better PvE, I think. Pretty much all my hours on this game were me trying to get off the beach in a single-player game or the menu sitting open on my computer. I could never really get into it, but I'd like to give it another shot with some actually good single-player settings and try to discover the PvE stuff. I mean, where is a new player supposed to get started with this game? The servers I've tried are like rust cancer, and there's 200-plus world settings when setting up your own world, so I don't really know what to do. Banished. Indie colony management game set in the pre-industrial era, well designed and challenging, really focused on min-maxing the efficiency of each worker. I had some good fun with this game, but the late game got pretty boring to me, it got kind of repetitive. Also the music is really really nice. I could listen to this game all day long. Catan Universe. Wasted money on this one so you don't have to. If you want to play Catan, go play on colonist.io, it's better, more active, and free. City Skylines. This is SimCity's hotter sister. I haven't put too much time into this game, but it's the best city builder out there hands down. You don't have to take my word for it. My only gripe is that there's a lot of expensive DLCs, and not all of them really seem worth the money to me. The vanilla game is still really good though. It's not like some games <coughs> where you really need all the DLC for a good experience and to really unlock the full game. Dark Souls 3. I haven't really played this game, but I want to give it another shot soon. I was so lost going into it, but I think I need to look up some noob guides on YouTube on how combat actually works and give it another shot, because I know it's an awesome series, and everyone's super hyped about Elden Ring right now, but the tutorial, if you can even call it that for this game, didn't help me at all, because I was super lost going into it. Doki Doki Literature Club. No spoilers here, but it's a graphical narration masterpiece. Story takes a couple hours to get through, and it's 100% worth it, and it's totally free. One of those things I wish I could experience again for the first time, and I always recommend it to friends. Just give it a shot, and don't look up any spoilers online. Go into it blind, trust me. Eco, I really want to play this game. Unfortunately, I've been living a nomadic life for the last few years, and I'm on a five-year-old laptop that's literally falling apart, and the game is super poorly optimized, so I haven't really gotten the chance. But I'm settling down and getting a new PC soon, so I really want to review this game because it's really intriguing. Survival, factories, managing the environment, politics, seems really awesome. There's a lot of mechanics, and I'm really curious to see how they're all sewn together. Timeless Classic, I've only bought it three times, which I think is an accomplishment considering how many times Todd has tried to shove it down my throat. But despite its quirks, everyone loves Skyrim. Factorio. My absolute favorite game right now is an addictive factory builder with super smooth progression and gameplay. I have a full review on my channel if you're still skeptical, but this game is awesome, and it, does, it doesn't go on sale, but it's 100% worth $30. Fallout New Vegas. Another Bethesda game. Cringe, right? Okay, so I know Fallout fans say this is the best one, or Fallout 3 apparently. It seems like a heated topic that I don't want to get into, but I'm not really qualified to comment. I'll try it someday, I'm sure. Force of Nature. It's a quirky indie survival game. If you like survival games, you'll get a kick out of it. The world is interesting, but it's super grindy, and the controls and quality of life are terrible, so the experience isn't great. But if you like survival games, maybe check it out for a couple dollars. Like I said, the world is really cool, and there's a lot of surprises. I also did a full review on my channel, so you can check that out. Half-Life series. Okay, I know I really need to try these games. Get, get off my back. Left 4 Dead 2. Another great game that I set on the back burner of my library for a long time because of the Valve Pack. Seriously awesome game though. I could never really get into FPS games in general, not to mention zombie games, but this game is awesome. The zombies are aggressive, you can play with friends, and the teamwork works together really nicely. It's so much more dynamic. It's so much more dynamic than like COD zombies or something like that. The enemies are challenging, it's fast paced, you kill zombies, it's awesome. No Man's Sky. 
Everyone knows the story. Terrible launch, blah, blah, blah. I actually enjoyed the game a little bit at launch, but got bored pretty quickly, of course. But this is the best comeback story of any game dev ever. The game is really loved right now. There have been so many new updates, and it's a completely different game than when I last tried it, which I think was when the base building and vehicles were released. I've purposely not read any recent patch notes because I'd like to rediscover this game when I get my new PC. Maybe make a series about me going blind into it? I don't know. Let me know if that'd be fun. Portal 1 and Portal 2. Absolute classic puzzle games. Revolutionized puzzle games. Both are short campaigns, but great fun for a few dollars. I don't want to beat a dead horse. They're on Steam's top 10 games for a reason. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. I thought this would give me the experience the original Roller Coaster Tycoon game did when I was a kid. I was very wrong. I didn't really like it. Rust. Literal cancer. Rise Son of Rome. Really fun gameplay, but the campaign is like 2-3 hours tops. I really enjoyed the game, but there's zero replayability, and I can't believe this ever sold for a full $60. I think I got a key off G2A for like $2 in college, and although it's fun gameplay, I wouldn't recommend paying more than that. Sid Meier's Civilization V. Don't let the hours fool you, this is by far my most played game on Steam. Before I got my own Steam account in high school, I easily played another 500 plus hours on my uncle's Steam account. I would estimate about 12 to 1500 hours in total. It's a turn-based strategy game where you build your civilization from the Stone Age all the way up to the Information Age. If you aren't familiar with the Civ series, it's a classic. Basically the most complex strategy board game you can imagine on a computer. A lot of fun times here. If you can get the full package on sale, 100% buy it and give it a shot, even if it's not your thing. This is my favorite one in the series. Civ 6 is like Civ 5, but worse. Okay, I know some people in the comments are going to be salty, and I shouldn't say that because I want to do a full comparison on the two games in the future for a video, but I really don't like this one as much. There are more mechanics, and it's more complex than Civ 5, but that doesn't mean it's a better game or it's harder. And for somebody who's easily spent over 2,000 hours in the series... The AI in both games are kind of a joke, to, to me at least, but especially in Civ 6. They can't handle the complexities of their own game, so you can just kind of roll over them. Also, that stupid Battle Pass thing they released like a year ago just released a bunch of new OP stuff into the game, including the most broken Civs ever. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Civ Beyond Earth. A shitty Civ 5 reskin marketed to sell to Alpha Centauri fans. The shittiest part is that some of these mechanics introduced, like the tech web, could be really cool if implemented properly. Smite. God, this game had so much potential. It's a MOBA, but from not a first-person perspective, but more like a personal perspective. I don't know. I'll have clips on screen. I had a lot of fun playing this game, but the competitive system was really terrible and hasn't had a super big PC player base in a while. It's much more popular among console players. I had fun back in Season 3, staying up literally all night with my friends playing this, and I really miss it, to be honest, but I just can't get into it anymore. I don't know why. Stardew Valley is a Harvest Moon inspired farming game with so much more. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's one of Steam's top games for a reason. It's awesome. I played for about 100 hours in total, and re I recently learned that I just scratched the surface as far as the content in this game. It's on the top of my list of titles to revisit. I might do a Let's Play or something soon, especially since the new update apparently added even more late game content, so I'm really excited to dive back into it. Surviving Mars, a colony management game where you need to build a colony to survive on Mars. Pretty cool concept and pretty cool gameplay. I haven't played a ton though, I need to d dive deeper into this game to give a real opinion. One of the more challenging management games I've played though. Voxel Tycoon is an early access indie management and logistics game. Usually early access and indie are kind of scary words to mix together, but I had quite a bit of fun with this game. It's still very much early access, but not in the super buggy or unplayable way. There's just a lot of features missing. It does take an interesting spin on management and logistics games though, and I'm really excited to play it more as the devs release new updates, as I had a lot of fun with the game in its current state. And that is all the games I've actually played on my Steam library. If you have any recommendations of things I should check out, here's what my wish list looks like currently. And also in the description of this video, I have a spreadsheet with some titles that I want to review and check out. If you have any recommendations, please, please leave them in the comments. I'm really trying to expand out into new titles and try new genres of things. As you can tell, I really like strategy and management and automation type games, but I'm really trying to branch out and try new things. I hope you liked the video and also please subscribe if you enjoyed.